Alright, we're back. We were almost done. Uh, we had just done all the quests for the imps, so... Let's hope they remembered where we were. Uh, I talked to Benny. Tree doesn't appear to be coming along very well. You're right. We're working on it. Inspect the wonky tree. Oh no! How are we going to reach it? I'll have to look around for a ladder. I got an idea. How do you plan on reaching all the way? Snow implings, of course. Of course, snow imp What? Snow implings? Did you get me to carry the decorations? Drop them onto the tree. How on earth did you think of that? I read about it in a book. Of course you did. It sounds like a great plan. Let's see if we can get some snow implings that are willing to help us out. Alright, we got another one up here. Arg. I swear you've got nothing on me. No lamps. No mince pies. No Christmas cheers. Please don't grab me. Why would I grab you? You're joking, right? You humans are known far and wide to snatch and grab the us. Poor implings. Imagine being one of us flying along and then all of a sudden, bang. Either dubbed you into a jar or subject to a shakedown on the spot. I'm not here to catch you. Sounds like something an impling snatcher would say. No, really, Mr. Impling. We need you to help save Christmas. You got my attention. Need me to steal something shiny? Ugh, I don't think s Yeah. How about something cold? I'm good at nabbing cold things. That's not what... Ooh, you need me to make a Christmas pudding. Wait, how did you know I cook? Christmas pudding? Yuck. No, Mr. Embling, we need your help decorating the tree. We can't reach it. How am I supposed to help with that? Use your wings. I've got bloody wings? Bloody such a naughty word. You can fly for us. You're much too heavy to lift us all the way up there. Not us, silly. The decorations. Well, I really wanted to cook pudding, but fine. I'll help, as long as there's no grabbing. Find an area high enough in the town to launch a snow impling from to decorate the tree. Without so much of a warning, the impling flies straight onto your backpack. It seems no matter what we do, we still end up with a musty back. Let's try... oops. Hey, let's go. Let's try it. Examine... whoop. Not the lamppost. Well, I could examine it, but I was thinking the tower. It helps like the I was thinking the tower on the back of it. I can actually get up there, but if I could, that's pretty high up. Nope, that would be a negative. There's another tower up here. I don't think I can climb up that one either. Is that building. It says I can examine the door. I don't think here is any good. I'm gonna go check the door, maybe if I can climb up to the roof. Keeps the droughts out. Okay. Um, what else? We try this building over here. Maybe there's some stairs back here. building over here. Hmm. 
Can I climb it? There's some stairs back here that they wouldn't let me access before. Maybe they'll let me access now. Ooh. There's another tower over here to the right. Let's see if I can get into that tower. Nope. Well, I'm running out of ideas. Anybody else have any ideas? I wonder if I can get back here into this top. It's like I can't walk over there. Try the lamp post. Nope. Try this lamp post. Nope. We'll just exa oh, examine the stage. I'm tall, maybe I can look. I'm tall enough to just reach over. Oh, examine stage. Here we go. Base of the most wonderful Christmas tree. Gotta be more creative, buddy. uphill, but I can't click on anything. There's nothing... Exploring just in case there's some knickknack or some. There's another tower. Maybe I need to go back on the other side and enter this tower. That's a good idea. climb up there. Wonder. See, I don't see any other paths or other op options. This 
building has just got to be it. I'm going to just keep poking around here. Maybe Peter can say, hey, climb up the building behind me. I talk to him and nothing happens. Here, maybe I can climb up here. Climb on the roof. No, 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 no. Talking to imps and looking for clues after, uh, yeah. It's not always the most obvious thing, so. Let's see if they have clues. Susie, did you see the town? Violet, what a fantastic job you've done. Thanks for helping us out. You should try talking to Benny, see what he wants to do with the tree. doesn't appear to be coming along very well. You're right. We're working on it. Thank you for all your help. Just reach over. You can reach. Here is it's high. Maybe if I just physically climb to the highest point, and then I'll pick a spot and then I'll be like, oh, that's cool. Oh, launch space impling. I didn't see that as a button. Let's try it. Imp clutches onto the decoration. Ha! Ah, wow, that plan actually worked. Let's send out some more. Clutches onto the decoration. It's starting to look better. Finished. Let's go see it. Look at that! Admire the tree. It looks... Beautiful. Look how pretty it is. Rubbed up nicely, all things considered. Christmas is saved. 
Now it's saved for sure, and it's thanks to you, Violet. Aw, oh, shucks. You guys did me a real solid here. Thank you both. Look, here comes everybody. Who decorated the town? They got us a new tree. Violet saved Christmas. Audible tears of joy. Look at the tree. It's amazing. Hooray, Christmas is saved. Look at all the lights. Maybe we can be back on Santa's nice list. Giggle. Woo, go Violet! Let's celebrate with some more fireworks! No! Talk to Benny. Thank you so much. I'll be sure to let Santa know how much the two of you helped me out here. Especially you, Violet. Violet's eyes are glazed over as she stares at the Christmas tree. So pretty. I should get her home now. Glad we could help out, Benny. Farewell, friends. Merry Christmas. Say hello to Santa for me. Merry Christmas. Ah, uh, home sweet ho- Wow! The house. It looks like a Christmas tree. Mom and Dad put up direct for decorations. Let's go tell them all about Yeti Town. Wait, I want to show them my new helmet. Clunk. Violet, watch out! Oops. You okay? Sounded like quite a bump. So dizzy. I can only see your feet, but I'll follow you. Mom, Dad, you decorated the house. Why does she have a bucket over her head, Mangler 3M? I was asking myself. Uh, not a bucket, it's my new helmet. Oh, I see. That's now. It looks lovely. But Mom, where'd you get all the decorations? Your little imp friends stopped by to decorate the place and donate some leftovers. They were talking something about you saving Yeti Town in time for Christmas. Sounds like you two had quite an adventure. It was amazing! Snow imps burnt down Benny's favorite Christmas tree. We got to pick a new Christmas tree decorated and the lights everywhere. We ran around town to add more lights decorations to make it Christmas Town. And then I'm so tired. Well, before you fall asleep, there's one more little surprise for you. Hmm? Take off your helmet so you can see it. Wow, my very own Christmas tree! My Christmas wish came true. And a little present in the tree from Benny. Would you like to open it now? Well, what about all of you? We're grown up. The only thing we need for Christmas are socks. Mangler 3M, would you help me open it? Of course I can, Violet. Oh my gosh, Luncheons and Flagons 5th Edition. Can't wait to play with all my friends. And some crayons, I can draw all this stuff we have. Thank you, Mangler 3M. You really made this Christmas memorable for me. I'm going to draw about our adventure today. Thank you, Mangler 3M. Any time, you little rascal. Cool. I got a fairy light whip and a fairy light necklace and a lamp of laughter. That's a lot of XP. Level Hunter 5, sweet! Alright, so I think I'm done here. I will say goodbye to Violet. 
Can't wait to play Luncheons and Flygons with my stone friends. Christmas in two days. I'm really excited. All right. This path goes nowhere. There's an elk back there. Or a deer. Hard to tell from this angle. Yeah, maybe a deer. It's a buck. Cool music. Thanks again. Pop up, pop in, and say hello to Violet. Bert, boy, not. Reclaim an item. Violet's Christmas tree. Oh, that's a lovely drawing. Strength bonus nine, that's pretty good. How do you get out of this area? Or is that a joke, like you really can't? They're showing an area with Oh, I'm already in here. That's indoors, okay. Oh, well, maybe that gate is the exit point? This is yours gate. Return to Galil. We did it! Whoa! Talk to Post DP. So what'd you find? Snow imps ran into a large amount of trouble as one of them happened to go missing. Well, that's no good. Good news is that I managed to find him, so now things are back to normal, which means Post will will be back to getting letters through to you as quickly as you, we can. Good news. Thank you for helping me out. Well, okay. Let's see, what was next? Sheep Shearer Mini Quest. Let's try this one. Talk to Fred the Farmer. You are here. I need to go way over here. Let's go here and go north. I like these teleporting things, these are great. Bank chest. Who's that? It's like a thief. Somebody's starting a fire over there.
He's killing chickens. Talk to Fred the farmer. What are you doing on my land? You're not the one who keeps leaving all my gates open, letting all the chickens out, are you? I'm lost for something to kill. I'm looking for work. Well, I could do with a bit of help since you're offering. I need to collect some black and black wool for my sheep. I'd be obliged if you could shear them for me. While you're at it, spin the wool balls, wool, wool into balls for me. Does it have to be black wool? It has to be. I'm in the business of some guy looking after black clothing. Something to do with black looking cool. Black clothing cool? I'm not sure that's true. That's what I thought, but I'm certainly not going to turn down business. So if you bring me 20 balls of black wool, I'm sure I could sort out some sort of payment. Is this a quest? No, it isn't. It's work. Do what I say, then you get paid. Watch out for rams. You'll be safe from the thing. Do you actually know how to shear a sheep? No, I don't. You're halfway there already. Just, you have some shears. Use those on a sheep to shear it. And shears. That's all I have to do. Once you collect enough wool, you spin it into balls. You know how to spin wool? I don't know how to spin wool, sorry. Quite simple. Find the nearest spinning wheel. First floor of the Lumbridge Castle, which is southeast of here. Turn, very turn, take egg, search open chest. I think I got shear tools in there. Why are they sending me around there? Open door. Nothing. I'm assuming I need shears. Lots of stuff. Book about wilderness. Read the wilderness manual. Wow, I got a book. Alright, so raw chicken, I don't need raw chicken, I need sheep. Ah, there's the sheep, okay. So to avoid the ram. Hmm. I feel like I'm in a maze. I don't see how to get out of here. Let's go back. I'm over style. There's a black sheep. Cool, I don't need tools. Cool, I found black wool. And then they said to a southeast to here. Lumbridge Castle.
Mm. Do they mean close or far? Because I don't see anything that's... I bet it's that. Mm. Where the cook was. This is the building. It's a tiny little castle. Alright. I'm in the castle. Looking for a spinning wheel to shear something. Or to spin something. That's a cooking area. That's a dining room. It's upstairs. Why would it be upstairs? What kind of a castle has shearing upstairs? All kinds of stuff. I'm going that way. I want to see what's there. There's a lot of rats. Guardsmen. It's like an altar. A duke. Dr. Duke. up because I'm curious. We got free logs. Got a million of those. I don't need any more. Another ladder. Hmm. Raise a flag. Raise the flag. Accomplishments. Oh, I saw somebody in there. Come on. Ah, it's a bank. Bank deposit box, bank booth. Okay, so I could probably throw some of my stuff in there. Put some sandwiches there. Put the Christmas tree in there. Put the necklace in there. Put the whip in there. I don't know if I need it now, but... Decide if it wants to go in there or not. Alright. Let's rub these lamps. I got the hunting already. I need to get everything to level 5 or 10, ideally. Archaeology. Ooh. I don't think I've gotten that one up. Huh? Let's see. Level five. Sweet. Oh, 19. I went to five to ten. Apparently, you don't need much experience to go up in that. Yeah. So not fletching. How about what were we not gotten? Yet? I wish there was an easy way to tell. How about herb war? I don't think I've done that one yet. Yay, level five. Mean Terramon. Magic potion. Ranging mint.
guess I could talk to this guardsman. Good day. Well met, adventure. Tell me about the Lumbridge Guardsman. What is there to do around here? Battlefield is not the only threat to Lumbridge. Goblins have invaded to the east. You could use your help to keep the numbers down. Hi. So goblins are now a target. Vocalist caddist in the world. This is the firecracker. He is very loud, constantly asking for attention. Aren't you, firecracker? He's also scared of everything too. He's scared of heights. And scared of people, which makes me think he's guilty of something. Alright, so I didn't see any spinning areas over here, but let's go keep looking. Let's head in the castle. I went in the castle and it was not there, so they lied. But where else could it be? I don't think it's in there. There's nothing in there. Let's go around back. Maybe behind the castle. There's a little room back there. If I was designing a castle, would I put my clothes thing right outside the door? Probably not. Talk to Hans. Hey, what are you doing here? I'm looking for your sheep place. I'm come to kill everyone in the castle. You've been here as long as me? I've been patrolling this castle for years. You've spent one day, 16 hours, 15 minutes in the world since you arrived 105 days ago. You must be old then. Ah. You could say I've quite the veteran of these lands. Yep, been here a fair while. You're not eligible for the five year veteran keep. It'll be longer than a year for you yet, I'm afraid. Sarah Domus Preacher, that's interesting. Well, that was a whole lot of nothing. Glory to Saradomen, the rightful victor in the bat Battle of Lumpur. What happened here? You don't know? Battle of Lumbridge was an epic battle fought with the noble god Saradomen and the wicked pretender 
died Zamorak. Zamorak came through a portal in Lumbridge and immediately began destroying everything around him. But then the mighty Saradoman appeared and intervened, protecting us all. They locked blows, they both bore their full might upon each other. Force of the Fury rent the ground beneath the feet asunder and created the crater we see today. Locked in a stalemate, each submitted their mighty armies and waged war across Lumber. They were locked in vicious battle for ten weeks, before Sarah Doman finally emerged victorious, leaving Samarak broken and defeated. Let's look and see if on the map they, we see anything more obvious, because I am lost, and this is frustrating. It's an altar, that's not it. Taskmaster. Furnace, anvil. I guess we'll go back here and check out up northwest area. He was up there and he said southeast of here, but yeah, I don't see anything useful. North do you think they would mark it on a map? Like say go here and then we go there. Probably like everybody else wandering around. Greetings, I'm Rodic. What can I do for you? You offer me any advice? Advice? Certainly, certainly. Use the task system to help you find your feet. That's my advice. No idea what you're talking about. It's a furnace. Okay. Oh my god, I killed the one. Did not mean to kill her. you don't chase after me or for finding what happened. I need to find... that's... Hmm. 
says mini quest, meaning it should be quick, right? It shouldn't take like three three hours to do. A Ceridomus priest and a priestess. It's been rough recently, thanks to the Ceridomus and Duke Horatio. Moved here. I've got to admit it's getting better, so much better, all the time. I have to tell him to go down the stairs. Okay. Fill the fountain. That's weird. Convert to a hiding hole here. That's a picture of fish on the front. That can't be it. Alright, back to the farmer, see what's up. Level up. 15. Sweet. bones that's weird all right fred the farmer tell me again where to go Spinning wheel can be found on the first floor of the castle. Spinning wheel. First floor of the castle. Okay, I went into the castle, I looked around, there was no spinning wheel. How many more balls do I need? 20 balls of wool. Alright, turn right, follow the path, leave my house, you'll find... Here some more. It says I need 20. Maybe several trips here. It said leave turn right. Says this way, leave right. This does not look like a castle. This does not look like to the right. It's a village. This is not, not a castle at all. Maybe he means this way and then turn right and go that way. Let's go back. We will look again. Look for the spinning wheel, first floor. To me, this looks like a castle. I mean, that could be a castle, but that doesn't appear to be it. That's a church. Okay. I'm going in back into the castle. This is an area around the castle. I'm going into the castle. I'm looking for a spinning wheel. Just don't be tempted to go upstairs. Trap door down there. 
asking me this. To me, I don't see anything useful at all around here. This is a dining room and a kitchen. That's all there is on the freaking first floor. Useless antenna. If I go down the trapdoor, is it down there? Why would he tell me it's there if it's down the trapdoor? No spinning wheels. Just a ladder thingy over there. Cabbage, bucket, sink, jug. Guess we need more stuff. More leather boots. I think we've picked up all these things before. We have like several copies of all of them. This all looks like fun, but I'm not seeing where I'm heading. Sink. That's Bob. That's I'm scared. It's a door. They said first floor. I don't care about going upstairs.
Nothing there. I hear a cat. This looks like a store. That looks like a furnace. <laughs> are you a priest or something? Not terrified by my elaborate laugh? Not really. You are my good friend, stout of heart. Do not balk at a true nightmarish bear. Not sure what you're showing me here. You shrug off the nightmare with burning courage. What is it? Is itching sensations? Oh, brave and mighty hero, I have a quest. Really need all that drama? Oh, you're a brave one. You must go out into the dark and dangerous world, perform a terrifying task. A task that makes grown men tremble in absolute fear. Or you must kill ten friends. Seriously? Not even the fire-breathing dragon. Just kill ten rats, come to back to me. Claim your friends. for such a small thing. Hope these things stack. They do not. But they're attracted to me or something. I have an arrow climb up here, doesn't it make me Greetings, welcome to my castle. Hail to the Duke, baby. Any quests for me? Nope, all's well. Quest 
what happened to the castle. Quick summary of what happened. Can you show me what happened again? I wonder where they have me talking to. Where can I find money? Smiths, miners, woodcutters, cooks. Hmm. Taking me back to the start now that I got ten. Nope, I'm sending me back to Duke again. I gotta say that's weird. Gotta be ten by now. Let's see if we can find that guy out there with the mask on. Sending me back to that one. Um, there's, there's so many rats everywhere. And I don't know why this is sending me back to that guy. That guy had nothing to do with anything. The Duke. Is it Sidney? Yeah, here he is. Found him. You've slain many a terrifying beast, but still more awake. You must kill another ten rats. What? This is an infinite quest for nothing. Oh, 
to... Just in case that wasn't enough, I injured myself. I minus one for that. It says another 10, I'm I'm not following for this one. Another 10. Alright, so that's totally He's just a good a big quest. So funny. Alright, I'm tired of looking for that single floor spinning wheel. I'm gonna move on to another quest, and if I happen to bump into it, I'll get out of it. Alright, blood pack. Talk to Xenia. I just walked past her. Let's see. Is that? Yep. So I'm going to go southeast. I'll just take this shortcut out here. Go south. I was tricked. It happens. I'm glad you've come by. I need some help. What do you need? Cultists at Zamorak have gone to the catacombs with a prisoner. I don't know what they're planning. Pretty sure it's not a tea party. There are three of them. I'm not as young as the last time I was here. I don't want to go down there without backup. I'll help you. I knew you would. No time to lose. Head down the stairs. I'll follow. Blue border on your minimap shows the area containing your current quest objective. Come on, Kayla. You've been here forever. Look, Reese, are you sure about this? Must be some other way we can... We made a blood pact, Kayla. Kayla. The three of us are in the... Are in this all the way. Yes, but... Do we have to take this idiot? Yes, the blood pact. You read the book. Let me go. I didn't make any blood pact with... Shut up. Kayla, you stay here, guard the door. You, come on. Looks like there's a guard in the room ahead. I think we should be able to overpower him. Speak to me if you have any questions. Ah, I'm too old for this. I'll have to do the rest without me. Read inscription. May Saradomen bless the souls who are buried here. 
turn his face away from those who disturb their bones. I'll follow you, but I'll stay out of combat. Return to me if you're wounded. I have some food to share. First one's using a ranged one. You should use your melee. Are you going to kill me? I have some questions. Yeah, I'll tell you anything. Who are you? My name is Kayla. I'm a ranger. I've been practicing the charge bow. I guess it wasn't as good as I thought. Who are the others? Reese is the leader. All this to blood pack. It was his idea. He doesn't know magic, but he's a strong fighter. Caitlin is a wizard. She was a student at the wizard's tower, but she left. She wanted to study dark magic. What are you planning to do down here? I don't really know, honestly. Listen, Reese used to be an acolyte in the church here. He discovered something about these catacombs. I don't know what... Something about how they were built, I think. Caitlin was a student at the wizard's tower. She found something, too, in the ruins of the old tower. Back when Zamorak wizards used it. Caitlin and Reese put what they found together. They said they've discovered a ritual they could perform. Something that could give them power over life and death. We made a blood, blood path of three of us. So that we begin it together, whatever happened. Then we kidnapped Alona. She was another apprentice in the, from the wizard's tower. Someone Caitlin had known there. Reese and Caitlin are going down there to perform a ritual. I don't know what it involves. Are you going to kill me now? No, just give me your stuff and get out of here. I don't think that cultist will be any more trouble. Glad. Okay. I think the second one was using magic. You should use a ranged weapon to defeat the magic users. Ask me if you need anything. Alright, I have seven arrows and a bow. Let's hope this works. but I got it. Well done. You need to open the gates to reach the other gallery. Should be a winch nearby. Operate the winch. Switching back to this one just for now in case... Something comes up. And I can pick up her magic. What are you gonna do? What are you waiting for? Finish me. I have some questions. What? Who are you? I am the wizard Caitlin. Where are the others? Who are the others? Reese was using used to be an acolyte at Lumbridge Church. He and I came up with this whole idea. Hale is just some idiot Ro Reese roped into helping us. I heard you let him go. It's more than he deserved. He's useless. What are you planning to do down here? Idiot hero. You don't even know what this place is, do you? It's the tomb of Dragith Nern. Dragith Nern was a necromancer. 
for a necromancer who lived in Lumbridge decades ago. He kept his necromancy secret. Everyone thought he was just a wealthy nobleman and wizard. He paid for these catacombs to be built, and he's entered here inter yeah, as a special, in a special tomb. Reese was an acolyte here at the church. He learned that Dragath Nurin was buried here. I was a student at the Wizard's Tower, and the library discovered a note left by Dragath Nurin. The body of the necromancer contains powerful magic. We learned we could perform a ritual on his tomb to unlock the secrets of his work. We have gained mastery over life and death. What are you planning to do down here? I already clicked on that one, did it? Enough questions. <coughs> Alright, now finish me. I'm not killing you, just give me the stuff I need on it. The second one passed me on your way out. I don't think she'll be any more trouble. I'm glad you didn't have to kill her. I think the third one is a swordsman. Magic's the best thing. Speak to me if you need any. Wield the staff. Alright, so I've got a staff, and maybe I'll use magic. Maybe it's down here. I just came from that. Let's try these doors. Potion is ready. Where are the others? Whole group should be present. Let me go. Shut up. Who are you? What are you doing here? My name is Mangler3M. I am an adventurer. This will be your tomb, adventurer. The blood pact will prevail. I didn't have any water room, so I'll just do that. You beaten me. I have one HP left. Now strike the final blow in the blood pack of this tomb. I have some questions. Are you? Ask your questions. Who are you? I'm Reese, warrior of Zamorak, leader of the blood pack. Where are the others? Yes. Who were the others? It's faithful servants of Damarak. He is the god of chaos and destruction. We bound ourselves to his service. What are you planning to do down here? End Zeradoman's dominance over Lumbridge. The tyrant god shall fall. With the blood pact and the power of the tomb of Dragoth Nern, we would send any army to the death to claim this town for Zamorak. Give me your stuff, get out of here. Must be a death. Blood pact must be complete. Gross. Help, untie me so we can get out of here. Offhand sword. Hey, my first offhand sword. I like mine better. Well, that's cool. I can have two swords. Thank the gods we're out. I thought we were going to die down there. You saved my life, wherever you are. Thank you. Well, it looks like we've prevailed. You should keep the weapons as a reward. Anything you can ask you before you seek out new adventures? Farewell. Alright, I finished it. That's the third one. Sweet. Oh, the charge bow required no arrows, so that's why I was able to use it. That's cool. 
wonder if all charge bows are like that. Staff requires no air runes. But it said I needed a water one, so maybe because I had a spell. Okay, so maybe I could have used it anyway. Alright, now I have access to this dungeon. Sweet. It probably gets worse and worse as you go down. Probably like a Diablo one, where you just keep getting deeper and deeper, and each level is harder than the last one. I kind of want to explore a little bit. Alright, so I got a... XP. That increased lots of different things. Now, oh, I leveled up my... Dazing Shot, Greater Dazing Shot. Alright. I know I've got more quests, but I'm already here in Catacombs and I just found it, so I'm gonna try. Some stairs opened up. Could be a shortcut. Yeah, that's kind of what I was looking at. Or does they mean northwest of the entrance? I don't know, but I'm going to keep exploring because I'm curious. If I get like massively hurt, I didn't bring any food, so I'll probably scamper out. But until then, I already opened that. And apparently my charge bow could also be wielded without arrows, which is useful. Alright, so is this the thing to the west that we're talking about? Stairs to the west? Oh. Let's do it up. Well, I just want to see down here. It looks like it goes deeper. So this was originally blocked off. And I just discovered it. Yep, look at these. These are... Uh, Giant cockroaches. There's like a million of them. And they're not even... Tin spone, stone spirit? Bones? Why do cockroaches have bones? Alright, how much experience do I get from attacking this? I don't know, but they keep leveling me up. I'm out of space, so I need to bury all these bones. Probably drop the rat tail. I don't know what to use a rat tail for, so I'm going to destroy it. Examine it. It is a bit of rat. GP, whatever it is. Destroy rat. Eat burnt meat. I'm not even hurt yet. I'm not going to do that yet. Fishing bait. Hmm. Mask part one. That looks weird. I skip the fishing bait and start destroying some of these rat tails. Or all of them in one click, at least. Alright. I wonder if a bow without arrows would be even faster.
Jesus. There's an infinite number of cockroaches. Skip the feathers. Let's take the spirit. Can it stack? Yes, it can. Ooh, spiders. Slightly higher. Hey, okay, they're actually hitting. Hopefully it takes more than one hit. Because those automatically pick up and bury all the bones. Silk. I feel like that's gotta be useful for something. Water runes, hey. Mask part two, there we go. Front salvage. Need all five parts in the mask? Oh. Got two. Got one, got two. I'm just gonna drop. Oops. Wow, I can get a lot of gold if I craft it. How about a potato? Drop the potato. Scatter ashes. I'm equipping this bow and maybe it'll automatically hit everything inside. Oh man, this bow stinks. If I get deeper, I'll get more interesting stuff. I'll bet this is all. Okay. It's taking me forever to level up. Continued use of the charge bow not recommended. Much more benefit using a short bow with arrows or a crossbow with bolts. Alright, then I'll switch to my keen blade. Take spider silk. What do you do with spider silk? Craft spider silk. You can do gloves and all kinds of stuff with it, but you need it to do stuff with it, so I'm just going to dump it. These are getting easy and boring. I'm gonna move up. Or down in, in my case. Take the statuette. Agitated. Take it.
Heh, <laughs> fly. Alright, level 7. Flies with bones. Why on earth do flies have bones? It's a holy symbol. Prayer bonus. Hmm. How am I doing health wise? Still full. I'm doing such small amounts of damage on the I'm probably wasting my time. I'll do some bones real quick and I'll move on down. Finish your current skill and kill. Open the Yak Track interface to claim the awards. What? Yak Track interface? I don't know what that means. Ooh. Crawling corpse corsets. Here we go, level 9. These took a couple of hits. More fire runes. As long as I have three more spots for these masks. I want part three of the mask. Can I get them from here? Old necklace. What's that? I wore that and it took off the holy symbol. Okay, well. Gotta be something more to dump. Necklace mold, black wool, leather cowl. You take. Put on the leather cowl, that's something. Didn't take off what I was wearing, so that means I upgraded. All right, let's keep going. A warp trap. What's that arrow telling me? Again? I guess I could throw away that burnt meat. I don't think there's anything there. For a mask, I don't care about the wood. Why is this sending me back there? Am I not done with that area or something? But it's so blah. These guys are like so easy. see what the heck they were pointing me here for. Are they just saying come in this direction? Did I forget something? I bet the another mask is here. I bet us
I'll build one, I'll kill two more and then nothing, then I'll keep going. Skeletons are going to be next around the corner. Ironstone spirit, okay, maybe that one. Alright. We're moving on. We're going for the skeletons up here. Maybe if I make it through, they'll have this that stairway back to the top. They're not attacking me either. No, Mr. Skeleton. Leather body? Pathfinder jacket. Leather body. Hmm. They're about the same on quality. More space. Okay, well, let's eat this. Can't eat it, it's burnt. And trash. Skipping on ahead. We're gonna try these guys. Warped bats. What do you give me? Hopper stone spirit. Did I already have one of those? I did. Bones. Very the bones. Yeah, there's more bones over here. Who doesn't like bones? A holy symbol. We got bones. Corpse archers over there. Hmm. Archers, are you going to attack me before I get to you? Doesn't appear so. Mask part four. All right. Now we're talking. Alright, so we've got Mask Part 2, Mask Part 1, Mask Part 4, so we just need 3 and 5. It's probably not from these guys, but... We'll try a bit. Prize over here, a sapphire demon statuette. Old amulet, another one. I'm gonna drop this dagger. This looks pretty useless. Might be part of the two handed thing. But... I grab the statue, I'm sure they'll attack me, but... Bones. Sapphire. Yep. That's okay. I'm not afraid. Just you, one. 
Not all of you. Not really all of you. Ooh, goblins. Ooh, skull goblin. Skeleton goblin. Another leather body. Bones. Ooh, an emerald demon. Nice. Take it. I think I'm almost done. The map looks like I'm close. Earth, is that a new one? I don't have any room for bones or earth. Okay, we're gonna drop this leather body one. We're gonna take the bones. Three the bones. Take the earth one, does that... I got six? Hmm. I gotta drop something else. Reese's sword is pretty pathetic. I like my sword better, so I'm gonna drop this one. Destroy it? You can get another one from Xenia in one. Alright. We'll attack one more, then we'll move on to the next room. Look for mats. room. Another ruby demon. Sweet. Don't have enough space. Let's drop the necklace. Take it. Drop the vial. Vials are easy to come by. I like to bring the bones too. Grab us the bones. Finally found somebody who's a tiny bit tougher than those other guys. Two more, and then we'll move on. I think ranged is better against mages. I think that was what trick they were trying to teach. I'm glad my sword hasn't broken yet. I'm not pulling a Zelda on me. there be a feather under these guys? What are they doing with them? That stacks. More bones to bury. Last one. I think there's one more room after this. I don't even see any monster yet, so probably one bonus.
small plated bronze salad. What is that? It is the boss. It's 26 Dragoth Nurn themselves. That's still pretty easy. I'm gonna take the diamond statuette and then she'll probably attack. Prevents you from taking it. Well, let me fix that. No damage. Why is no damage going against them? Am I needing that magic, uh... Charge bow or something? I bet you just start whittling and then eventually it wears off. And it just Aha! I knew it. See, look at that. Yep. I like defense for the beginning and then. Mm. I wonder what that little exclamation point is down there. I will explore after I grab this last statue. I love this sword. Yeah. Maybe a dagger in an offense would be like. Whoa, he reappeared. Oh, I get a mask and bones. I'm taking the mask. I'm gonna drop this in It looks ugly. Alright, bones. Bury the bones. I can still attack him, but I'll bet I have to beat him again after I take he's gonna be mad after I take. Well, I want to go back, but I kind of want to beat him again for experience and for practice. So I'm going to do that one more time. Look at that, 262. What a hit. So I've gotten mask part. The only one I'm missing is part three. We got one, two, four, and five. I could go back looking for number three. Maybe that's where the arrow was pointing me to. I don't know what else I dropped to get it. Bones. Do I really want to drop something to put the bones? I got a white bead I could drop. Examine it. It's worth about 90, 917. I'm gonna drop it to get the bones. And then I'm gonna go back and look for that part three of the mask. And that's probably what the arrow was telling me to go. I was saying, eat these guys, you know, get a part three of the mask. Move it. Move it, buddy. The amulet of magic? Oh, sweet. I'm not going to steal that. Oh look, it's a topaz statuette. Do I even have a topaz statuette? I have a diamond, a ruby, a jade, an emerald, and a sapphire, but I don't have a topaz. How did I miss this? I walk right past it? I'm gonna need 
need to drop something else to be able to pick up that last thing and drop the empire. We'll grab another tin spirit again. Pick the bones. Bury the bones. Yep, yeah, here's the blinking. So maybe part three mask is here. Three of the mask? Yes, part three of the mask. So we got them all. One, two. We combine the parts and assemble the mask of Dragith Nerd. You unlock a cosmetic override of the mask of with your wardrobe interface. I don't know what that means, but cool. Oh, armor forty. Sweet. What did I have before? A hood? A leather cowl? I will drop my leather cowl. No, I'll just keep it. Might be able to sell it or something. Okay, so I have basically gotten everything there is to get out of this castle. I got a little red thingy saying down here. Um, I think that's just a link to the keys. Alright, so there's got to be an exit out of here. Or maybe I could... You are here. Okay, so I have to go back to the beginning to get out. That is straight. To be like an automatic just beep. Alright, I'll walk back. Let's take some perks. This is my first dungeon, and I slaughtered it. I crushed it. Lower catacomb exit. I'm downstairs. Ooh, is that a deeper area? Well, let's go back to Zinni and drop off some of my treasures. Yeah, that new downstairs, that must be a new adventure to take. Maybe those are even harder. If I turn this, will that make it hard to... Open any of these? All right, exit. Here you go. Look what I found. You found the statuette. You want to sell them to me? I'll pay you for any you can find. I'll sell them to you. 100 coins for the jade one. 200 for topaz, 300 for sapphire, 400 for emerald, 500 for ruby, 1000 for diamond. Thank you. Have a nice day. I lost some of the cultist weapons. Oh, that was like that weapon I threw away. Can give me a new one. Alright, I think I'll go now. So, I think this is a good stopping point. 
Um, I will go ahead and put a cut in the video, but this was a really awesome adventure. We got to do several different quests. We got to do the snow quests, go see all those in the mountains again, finish off those. Got to do our first dungeon, and that was pretty epic. Got everything, including the masks, and now I'm wearing one of the masks of the foes I beat. So, thanks for joining me, and we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.